It's about time that we had another look at Elementor hosting. There are so many solutions out there. What do you go for when you're trying to sort out the best optimum hosting for your WordPress website? But what if you also want to use Elementor? Of course, you're going to need Elementor Pro. You could go and get the Elementor Pro license and go and get your hosting elsewhere. But what if there was a package where you could get everything all together? When I say everything all together, you're still going to have to sort out your domain and your email. And I'm going to talk about that. But you can now purchase your domain via the Elemental hosting solution as well. Let's go in and have a look. It's no lie that Elemental have been working really hard in improving their Elemental hosting. And now it's ready for you to utilize and make the most of it for your WordPress website. There's different pricing packages for everyone. And if you want to scale up and have more websites on the hosting solution, and don't forget, you get the Elemental Pro license, $59 per year per license. This is a big deal. But is it really good? Is it going to work for you? Let's go in and have a look. And by the way, this is a non-sponsored, non-biased, honest review. Once you've signed up, you come to a page where it prompts you for your website name. I'm just going to call it Web Squadron for now and hit next. Now I get to go and pick my website kit or a template kit. There's many categories down as you go and pick one for blog and it's going to filter down. Or you could scroll down and find a design. My tip is not to always focus on something that has the word blogging if you are going to do a blogging website because you might realize that actually I like this one, which is business consulting. So why not go and use that? So there's a lot of variety here for you. You can also, if you want, just use one of the wireframes. So these are website kits where there are no images inside of it. Of course, any kit you add, you can swap out the text. You can swap out the images. You can move things around. Remember, this is all built with Elementor Pro. It's not like you're installing a kit onto your WordPress website. Then you want to use Elementor and then you go, oh, hold on. The theme or the template's not compatible and you're going to start completely from scratch. I'm going to go for this design over here. So what you get is a full on preview. You can have a look at it in mobile, tablet or desktop. And you can also jump around and see what the different pages will look like as well. This now gives you a template to make it your own. So I'm going to click start with this kit. Now I'm being told that my website is being created. That took about eight seconds. Super quick. It actually takes you to the Elemental hosting back end. And in the tab hosted by Elemental, that is where our cloud hosted websites will sit. You've also got a tab for your other websites, which might be your own or maybe a client's as part of a monthly maintenance package as well. When you hover over the website, you're going to notice edit with Elementor, which is basically that edit with Elementor, like you're going into WordPress now and you have managed this website as well. The manage this website is super, super important because even though we've named it Web Squadron, that is not the actual domain for that website. So we need to go and have a check of that. Also, the website has site lock applied. So that means that no one can actually see this website. Now, if you do want to release it publicly, you want to take the site lock off. And I'll talk to you about that in a moment as well. We also have three dots. If I click that, you're now going to basically see a lot of things that you will see within the manage this website as well. We have visit the live website. Not much point to that because we just have a wireframe. Open the WordPress dashboard. We'll come on to that later. Unlock the site. Again, if you want to make it publicly visible, you would go and do that. But there's a few steps to that. Clone the website. Maybe you're working on it, but now you need to clone it because you want to jig around with it. And everything else below is more related to your subscription and your IDs. Let me now go in to manage this website because everything I've kind of mentioned there, you can kind of see here as well to an extent, but you get few more features as well. So our actual domain generated by the hosting solution is that. Doesn't look great, does it? It's kind of gobbledygook.elemental.cloud. What we may want to do is actually assign our own domain to this. And this is where we have the manage domain feature. So if I go and click manage domain, I can now go and connect a pre-existing domain. So if I've gone and purchased one from elsewhere, as long as you can access the C panel or the C name or the DNS or something like that within your domain solution, then you will be able to connect the website and you do get steps on how to do that. If you're unsure of how to do that, click learn more. You will get taken to a guide that explains exactly what you need to do to connect your domain. If you don't want to go and purchase your domain from elsewhere, 
you can do it via Elementor as well, buy a domain. Once you've clicked that, you will end up here where you can now purchase your domain. And if you want to ensure that your email comes with that domain, you have the option down here as well to add that to your package. Now, I'm actually not going to buy anything because I just wanted to show you that you can do this all through the Elementor hosting solution. Now, I've mentioned SiteLock, which means your website is not publicly visible. And there are two ways you can give access to that. And also it means that search engines are not indexing your website, which to be honest, if you're building the website, do you really want it to start indexing before you're done? So here's the two ways you can do it. You can, if you want, go over here and toggle that off and it will now say, are you sure you want to go live? Let's just cancel for now. Or you can go and give people a pin code. So over here, there's a code of 4197. So if anyone went to that particular domain at the moment, They'll get asked for a code, they enter in 4197 and they can now view it. Some of the other really cool features about Elementor hosting are the backup facility. So you maybe you're used to using a third party solution. You can now use this to start making a backup every day for you. And on top of that, in the advanced tab, you can also set up a staging environment as well. So if you're using lots of plugins or you're testing things out, or maybe you want to tweak a page, but you don't want it to go live until you're finished and you're worried about are they going to see or not see the old or new page, you could create a staging site. And this is going to protect you massively if you suddenly realize I don't want to apply that change or I just want to do a big bulk update. This is a really good feature. Let's jump in and start editing the website and straight into the homepage. You can see here we've got lots of pre-built containers already with content and I can go in and I can start modifying this, rearrange items and swap the text over. I could go in and change the images as well. Of course, bear in mind, if you do go to your media library, it's only going to have the wireframe images in there. However, if you wanted to add in your own images and you just got to add them to the media library and I strongly recommend using WebP images. And as I mentioned earlier, when you start to go over to tablet or mobile mode, it's already built to work for you. So as long as you've done a bit of homework where you've gone through chat GPT or with your content right and you sort it out, your headlines, your subheadings, your text, how many pages you're going to have, what are your images, you can now start chucking it in and building out your website super, super quick. Let's go and explore the actual WordPress backend and exactly what do you get? And we can see some example posts over here. Obviously, you'd probably delete or modify or overwrite them. In terms of pages, we have all of the pages that came with that template kit. If you want to delete or add some more, you can do. Don't forget appearance menus. This is where you would go now and say, right, we don't want to have the contact page. Why don't you make your blog be the second page? Or maybe make the services be a sub page of the blog. You can do that all within WordPress. In terms of plugins, you get the activity log, which is not a bad one to have, Elemental and obviously Elemental Pro. In terms of the theme, you're going to get Hello, which is exactly what you want to be using with Elemental. One big tip though, when you get to custom fonts, it won't preload them. So if you know you are going to be using a certain font on your wireframe kit or whatever you're building for your website, Go and custom load your fonts because even though the Elemental Cloud Hosting has boosted up its performance optimization, I still recommend WebP for images and custom load those fonts. Back in WordPress, when you go to the top, you're going to see an option called hosting. You click that and it's going to take you to a screen which basically leads you off to all of the other components that you can see here. And advanced caching is actually an interesting one because this is going to allow you to now remove pages from being cached. Basically, every time someone comes to your website, if they've never been there before, it might take a split second longer to load. But also at the same time, if you've got certain pages where you want the content to continuously update, caching them is not a good idea. And for a long, long time, whenever I'm building an e-commerce website or a very blog heavy website, or maybe there's like an Instagram feed or Twitter feed coming in as well, you don't want those pages to latch on to a point in time and then it takes like one or two hours before they update. You want them to be a little bit more zip, 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 quick, zip, quick, really quick, zip, 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 zip. Super sonic boom quick. So what you do is you exclude them. You'd pop in cart. Basically, any pages where you don't want them to be cached. And if you've got lots of authors contributing to your blog website, guest authors, I would say definitely exclude it from the cache. But how does a website with Elemental Hosting cut it on PageSpeed Insights? To be fair, not bad at all. Now ignore the fact that a lot of these in yellow because I've just used a wireframe and we haven't obviously put in the right text or the SEO or anything like that. It's getting in 99 on the desktop and I kind of partially expected that. 
on the mobile though from the get-go it's getting a 91. now even though elemental cloud hosting have improved the back-end optimization I still feel like there's a bit more to do. And if you are following any of our videos for PageSpeed 2023, you know that we have some funky code snippets and a few tools that I do recommend that you can use for free to boost your score. That being said, 91 is not a bad start because don't forget, this is a full on page. We have lots of content. Yes, I know a lot of it is empty, but there is text and there are things happening here. So we're informed about the image elements. Well, we can sort that out with the code snippet and we're told about eliminate render blocking resources. Again, go watch the page speed 2023 video. So from the get go, this is not that bad. But has the elemental hosting solution improved since it first came out? I think so. I like the fact that you can now purchase a domain when you're actually logged in. Of course, you are doing it via a third party, but it still connects through and you can add in your email service as well. What we are missing though is a dedicated file manager. You can access the PHP and they give you the credentials to go and log in and do that. However, I would have preferred it if we had a side panel somewhere so I could access my file manager. Maybe I need to go to my WP content or my uploads. Or maybe there's a plugin that's a bit funny and I wanna rename the folder to stop it working because it's brought my website down. That is a third party issue, but file manager as an add-on would have been good. So do I recommend Elemental Cloud Hosting? Well, if you want to use Elemental Pro, you can go and get it. If you want to get your hosting solution, you can go and get it. But if you want to have it all entwined because you intend to use Elemental Pro and you want a WordPress hosting solution, and there's many places you could go where you don't get the daily backup, where you don't get the staging facility. So if you want that all in here, it's not a bad solution that I would recommend you to use. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the